So I'm going to be showing you how to create your vision board in Notion. As you can see here on my own personal homepage, I've made it really easy where I can get to my 2020 goals and 2020 vision board. So I'm going to show you how to make your own vision board. So you're going to go down into the bottom left corner and select a new page. And then when that opens up, you're going to give it a new name like vision board. excuse my sticky keyboard. So then I just choose empty. I think you can do empty with icon, but I end up just going up to the top, hitting an icon anyway. We're probably not gonna use the curling stone. Um, so I think I'll put in something like sparkles, and just make it nice and whimsical. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Pinterest and we're going to start typing in some of the things we want, such as maybe some healthy meal ideas. Just waiting for things to load a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can find really great photos on here, really great ideas for the healthy meals. And I think that for myself, meal planning would be something that'd be really helpful this year that I would like to implement. So we're going to get this picture here of this very healthy meal plan or meal prepped uh, situation. So you're just going to right click, save image as, and then save it to a board. So I have one here just called vision board example, and we're going to save our images in here. And then also if you click on something and you want something similar to it, but not that exact image, if you scroll down, Pinterest actually shows, shows a lot of uh, similar images and something there might grab your eye more instead. So there's a lot of great images here. So next up, we're going to search groups of friends. I think I would love to see more friends this year and just spend more time with my people. I really miss everyone. So I would like to have a picture where everyone's having fun and just kind of celebrating. So I think this one here works well for that. And again, just right clicking and saving the image to our vision board folder on our computer. So we can keep doing this for as many pictures as you want to add. I'm just going to do a couple photos here and, and ironically typing in the word couple photos, but I'm just going to do a couple of photos. Uh, here, just kind of show you how to set up a layout if you want to do um, maybe like a grid style or something like that, just to show you how that's set up. So I will check back in with you when we have a couple more images put together. So now we're going back to our vision board example, and I'm going to show you how you can upload them. So in Notion, if you haven't used it before, if you just type in a forward slash, on your keyboard, you can then, it pop, it comes with a pop-up that will show you the different things that you can add. But for images, you just can type I am a, like start typing the word image and it will pop up. And now we're gonna choose our image from our vision board folder. And it doesn't really matter how you upload them. You can upload them in a random order. You can upload them by category if you have different categories. We're just gonna upload them at random here. So once you have this uploaded, instead of doing the forward slash again, you can actually click that top left corner and hit duplicate. And then you click on it again on the duplicate and you hit replace, and then you can upload the next image. So you're not having the same image multiple times. And then now, because I want to show a grid style, we're going to be able to grab this second photo and bring it up beside the first photo. Notion is really intuitive. You don't have to know anything. Uh, technical really to work it. It's really um, like user friendly. So, and then we're actually just going to open this as a page. It just makes it a little bit more convenient to have the full page in front of us. So we're going to duplicate again, and then we'll replace the image and add in our third photo. And then now to make it more of a collage style grid situation, we're going to actually drag up one of the photos to the right and make a third column. Excuse my computer while it lags just a little bit. 
So when you use Notion on your phone, it doesn't show the grid. It will just show kind of one by one images, but it's really nice to have it here as a grid so you can see everything you want at once. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you'd like more Notion tutorials or tours around the pages I currently have set up and subscribe for more.